Hello, it's Robotnik the Sexy, and that is a Lego reconstruction of the Master Sword. And I have a good match for you all today. This is another match that I had with Fire Z Pirit, um, also known as Juan. Both names I probably butchered in pronunciation, but you know. I'm American, what can you say? Um, we had another underused match, and um, it was pretty much just as epic as the first. Um, and I'm gonna poke around my camera here and try to get the sweet spot, and it's gonna be really awkward and bad. Um, but yeah, there's the team preview there. Um, there was actually a disconnect, but as it so happens, um, we redid the first three or so turns, like, pretty much perfectly, like, without even really trying, like, I wasn't trying. I told him that we could do a completely new game, have new leads, etc., etc., but he led with Mew again, which is, you know, very honorable, very respectable. Um get the protect up, uh, yeah, you turn out with guts, does pretty good damage, um, use overheat on Mew, just want to take it out, he uh, switches into the fire Rotom, which uh, takes well over half its health off from the overheat, which is really great, um, I, um, when I first did that, um, I was really, really impressed with the damage, actually, um, because, you know, almost killed it, and it's resistant to it, and, you know, I mean, as long as you're stuck using overheat on a fire Rotom, you know, as long as, I mean, I guess you could use hidden power fire, but I, I figure you might as well take advantage of overheat and slap on that choice specs. Uh, so, a bunch of switching happens, um... Uh, he brings in his Kecleon, knowing that uh, with my negative 2 special attack, he won't take much from overheat. I switch into Don Fan. He puts up rocks. I spin away the rocks. Uh, we do a lot of switching. This is a really important turn here. Um, he tricks me. Um, his... Tri tricks me his um, choice scarf, I believe. And he could have killed... Don fan quite easily. Um, I I was honestly ready to fodder it out at that point, but luckily for me, he switches his Umeral out. Uh, if he had decided to take up my Don fan, um, it would have really hurt me in the long run. So his decision to switch there is going to help me a lot later in the end. Um, he tricks away my Evilite, uh, and I still take the Volt Switch uh, pretty well, because Dusclops is pretty awesome, but uh, yeah, very excellent uh, smart moves by uh, Fire Zis Spirit, and uh, <laughs> yeah, sounded German there for a second. Um, yeah, he's going to put his rocks up again. Uh, I have a very, very rock-weak team. Uh, three of my guys are weak to rock, but as long as Don Fan is around, um, I can spin them away, um, which is what I plan on doing. Um, having my Evilite tricked off um, doesn't bother me too much, because most of the time I do want to curse with Zoidberg, because I love cursing. And he actually takes me out with the uh, knockoff, which is pretty hilarious. That's like a rapid spin kill, basically. Um, and now I get to go into Trumpy again, who is choice scarfed, um, but this guy is a rapid spinning machine, so it doesn't matter too much. Um, but because he uh, switched out as a zoom roll and didn't go for the attack, earlier, I'm allowed to survive long enough to rapid spin, which is really important. Um, he transforms into my Heat Rotom and then switches into his own Heat Rotom. I think he was trying to... this whole, like, half this match, he's, like, doing 
these really, really advanced mind games, and I'm just going for the straight play, like, every time. Um, I finally uh, get the chance to fodder off Downfan, and it really does work out best, because he has a water gem, and it's a Zoomerl. I don't want anything else to take a hit from a Zoomerl. A Zoomerl is a powerhouse. Um, knowing now that he's not choice banded, I think... I'm pretty sure I can take one Aqua Jet, uh, and I know that I outspeed anyway if he wanted to go for Waterfall, so I am very free to Volt Switch, um, and I do, which does a lot of damage to Mew, and uh, get that free switch into Swellow, and he switches out and fodders out uh, his Keki, which this guy loves Kecleon, which is major props. Um, Anyone who's cool enough to use their favorite Pokemon effectively enough that they're really, really challenging, that is, you are in the cool zone in my book, like, pretty much. Um, it's basically awesome. Um, I switch out Swellow here, uh, not really sure why, um, uh, Swellow really needs to be foddered and my dog is being kind of loud, uh, but it does, he, I do, I know that I can take one water hit, unfortunately he does get a critical hit, which, um, makes up for something, I'm sure, I think I crit one of his guys earlier, I don't really remember, but, yeah, I, it, I, the crit doesn't really matter, because he, you know, Brick Break would have killed me anyway, so, it's all water under the bridge, anyway, so... Uh, Volt Switch, kill that Mew, go into Cake Bug. The match is winding down. I'm, I've got the very difficult decision of who to fodder out, either Crustle or Swellow. I make the better choice and fodder out Swellow, which is really important, because it gives me a free switch into Rotom H. And I uh, could have predicted the switch into uh, Heracross, but I wanted to play it super, super safe. If he had predicted that, it would have been egg all over my face. Um, and now I get the free switch into Cake Bug because of the Volt switch and him switching, and uh, I am allowed to Shell Smash. I make a pretty bad move here. I go for the Rock Blast? instead of just going for X-Scissor, uh, which X-Scissor would have KO'd, definitely, um, but I felt like going for Rock Blast, which could have easily lost me the match. Uh, but luckily, Cakebug is feeling like actually landing his 90% attacks today. So that leaves me the option of killing his Azumarill with a uh, Volt Switch, which I do. And that is one close, close match, just barely lived in great game.